Hey there, sports history fan. This is Arnie Chapman of the Football History Dude Podcast, and I'm stopping by this show real quick to tell you about a couple of cool giveaways that we have going on here at the network. Both are autographed books covering various topics of the NFL. The first is The Point After, How One Resilient Kicker Learned There Is More to Life Than the NFL by ex-NFL kicker Sean Conley. It goes over his unique experience as a walk-on kicker at the University of Pitt after never playing high school football. And then it gets into some of his time playing for NFL teams and so much more beyond the gridiron. The other is from author Kevin Bryant. His book is titled Spies on the Sidelines, the High Stakes World of NFL Espionage. This book started as a curiosity, kind of a passion project to understand everything revolving around well, Spygate. But this put Kevin down a rabbit hole learning about all sorts of espionage that has occurred throughout the history of the NFL. Both permissible <laughs> and often the illicit techniques of gathering intel to try to impact the outcome of the game. To sign up for your chance to win an autographed copy of one of these books, all you gotta do is head over to sportshistorynetwork.com forward slash giveaways and sign up. That's sportshistorynetwork.com forward slash giveaways. Again, check out all the other podcasts that we have in the Sports History Network as well. But now, back to your regularly scheduled journey to the Sports History Timeline. Now it's time to take a sports break, a look at sports history on a daily basis. Hello, my friends in sports history. This is Darren Hayes of the Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast. Welcome once again to the Pig Pen, your portal to positive sports history. And we're going to talk about in our sports break today, the daily digits of August 6th, the uniform numbers of the great players that had great sporting events. These jersey numbers we're talking about today are the numbers 19, 4, 29, 32, 5, 44, 8, 21, 20, 14, 11, 18, 9, and the number 22. It's all going to start August 6, 1890. Future Hall of Fame pitcher Cy Young throws three-hit ball in his Major League debut for the Cleveland Spiders in an 8-1 to one decision versus the Chicago Colts. Two teams that have been forgotten in baseball history. Cleveland Spiders, Chicago Colts. August 6, 1908, the Sh- St. Louis Cardinals, Johnny Lush, pitched his second career no-hitter versus the Brooklyn Super Superbas, and he won the game two to nothing. It was the first no hitter uh, that he pitched was on in 1906. It was the second one, 1908. We're talking about here for this August 6th date. August 6, 1941, Detroit Tigers pitcher Al Benton, number 19, collects two sacrifices in one inning, a Major League Baseball record. Uh, his team won 11-2 versus the Cleveland Indians. And on August 6, 1949, future Hall of Famer number 4, Luke Appling, appears in a Major League Baseball record 2,154th in route to uh, over 2,200 games at shortstop for the Chicago White Sox. August 6, 1952, some things get better with age. A fine wine, a good story, a professional baseball pitcher, a pitcher, what? Yes, St. Louis Browns pitcher, Satchel Page, at number 29, at the ripe old age of 46 years old, became the oldest pitcher to win a complete shutout. A 1-0 tilt versus the Detroit Tigers, and get this, 12 innings, mind you. August 6, 1963, Philadelphia's NBA franchise changes its name from the Nationals to the 76ers, and they remain that today, based on the U.S. Declaration of Independence in Philadelphia in 1776. And on August 3, 1967, the Minnesota P- Twins pitcher Dean Chance, wearing number 32, threw a perfect no-hit game against the Boston Red Sox. Final score in the contest was 2 to nothing in five innings before the game is called because of some foul weather coming in. August 6, 1967, the future Baseball Hall of Fame third baseman Brooks Robinson, who wore number 5 on his jersey with the Baltimore Orioles, hit into a baseball record fourth career triple play. Bad timing. The time and time again for this great player of Brooks Robinson. Now, August 6, 1972, Hank Aaron, wearing number 44, hit his 660th and 661st home runs for the Atlanta Braves, breaking Babe Ruth's Major League Baseball record of home runs for one team. And on August 6, 1973, Roberto Clemente, number 21, Warren Spawn, number 21, Billy Evans, 
Bonte Irvin, who wore number 20, Mickey Welsh, and number 14, George High Pockets Kelly, are all inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. August 6, 1986, Baltimore's Jim Dwyer, who wore number 9, along with teammate Larry Sheets in the number 18 jersey, in the opposition of Rangers of Texas, Toby Herrera, number 11 on their team, hit Major League Baseball single game records of three grand slams in a single game in Texas's 13-11 barn burner win over Baltimore Orioles. August 6, 1988, Rich Gossage, the Goose, number 54, became only the second player in Major League Baseball history to record 300 career saves when he, he and the Chicago Cubs knocked off the Philadelphia Phillies with, by the score of 7-4. to four. Great save there by the Goose. Uh, August 6, 1989, Boston Red Sox retired Baseball Hall of Fame left fielder, first baseman Carl Yastrzemski's number 8 jersey digit. Up, hanging from their rafters. August 6, 1990, Jim Palmer, who wore number 22, and Joe Morgan, number 8, were both inducted in the Baseball Hall of Fame and Cooperstown. We thank you very much for listening to this little bit of history on your sports break for August 6. Hope you'll tune back next time for August 7th and uh, some other great sports history. So, so till tomorrow, everybody, have a great sports history day. Sorry, but my pitching coach just called timeout, and he's coming out to the mound. I think I'm going to get yanked for a reliever. We'll see you back tomorrow for some more great sports history on Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast. We invite you to check out our websites, jerseydispatch.com and pigskindispatch.com. Not only see the daily sports history, but to experience the preservation of great events and people that play the games. Find us on Pigskin Dispatch. It's also on social media outlets of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget the Pigskin Dispatch YouTube channel. You get all your daily sports history. Pigskin Dispatch is happy to be associated with the Sports History Network, the sports headquarters of yesteryear, found at sportshistorynetwork.com. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network, your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com. Offices of the Pittsburgh Guardian newspaper circa 1924. But for Marla Delft, assistant editor, everything was about to change. For she was about to discover the awesome attractiveness of Row 1 brand retro sports paraphernalia items thanks to Orville Mulligan, sports writer. And there it is. Wow, Orville, that's really the bee's knees. Isn't it just? A poster sized replica of the actual 1909 World Series program cover. I can see that. But where did you get it? And where'd you get it framed? I ordered it from the Row 1 website, where over 6,000 items of sports memorabilia from the 1880s to the 1990s are available for reproduction, in multiple sizes and in several different materials, with over a dozen styles of frame to choose from for prints like this. Well, I'm sure Mr. Delft would love to put up more of these in the office. But I'm equally as sure they're beyond this newspaper's budget. (laughs) <laughs> Not at all, my dear Marla. See for yourself. Go to sportshistorynetwork.com slash row one. Sportshistorynetwork.com slash row one. Oh my, these are good prices. Oh, and look at this stuff. Oklahoma, Nebraska football. College basketball art. Michael Jordan items. And so Retro it was that Marla Delt discovered the splendiferous magic of row one sports memorabilia arts and prints. You can, too, by visiting sportshistorynetwork.com slash row one. That's R-O-W number one today for access to the full row one catalog of gallery prints and gifts like t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, telephone cases, coffee mugs, blankets, pillows, towels, and even shower curtains. Act today for a 15% discount off all prints with coupon code SHN15 and 20% off all other items with coupon code SHN20 at Check out and keep your dial locked to the Sports History Network for the exciting chronicles of the 1920 sports world in Orville Mulligan, sports writer, coming soon.